Good evening, and Michelle Rahul, it's a pleasure to have you here at this evening's Women in Aviation Gala Dinner. Um, perhaps you tell us a little about your roles and, and what's attracted you uh, to the organisation. Michelle, if we can start with you. Sure. Thanks, Paul. And it's a great evening to everyone. Um, I'm the Mentorship Committee Chair and I lead a mentorship team. The reason why I've gotten into this is because of my belief in women empowerment and also our agenda for diversity and inclusion here in Singapore. For me, my team and I, we are just so passionate about breaking the barriers and allowing women to also sit at the main table and have all the discussions right. at the main table. So what do you think? Yeah, no, I, I completely agree with it. You know, Paul, we've been talking about this uh, gender equality mm -hmm. and inclusion, right? And I mean, the my, my favorite thing here is uh, I want the woman empowerment, like uh, Michelle has said. Mm -hmm. Like we go on MRO Asia or ISTEP, thousand people, how many women? Four. <laughs> All right, so I want to see that more, right? And I think the, the biggest thing for me is attracted me to this chapter was that same thing mentoring, you know, the younger generation women into getting into their platform so that they can be seen at the exactly level within the next 10, 15 years. And I want to see that path forward for the young young girls to, and I'll be, I want to be part of that to help them mentor it. And that's the biggest attraction for me. Thank you so much. I think the mentoring is a critical element of what Women in Aviation is seeking to do within Singapore. Um, perhaps you can tell, uh, tell us a little more about what that entails and what kind of inroads you've made to start that program already? Uh, yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, can, I can start, Michelle, if, if I may. Um, see, I, I was also, before getting into this, I was also part of a uh, uh, manpower subcommittee for Singapore uh, MOM with AIS. I'm an executive board with AIS, and one of the things we were trying to attract is the younger generation Man, gender, man or woman, but especially woman in, in that topic. And the mentorship is all about creating path for the younger generation, uh, you know, uh, woman, right? And what I think, if you don't have this kind of program, it's very difficult for the younger woman to come forward and move on, right? Because they need some kind of uh, support. It's support network, support initiative support motivation right and I think I thought we as a mentor in this program would allow to give that platform to the younger generation mm -hmm. and that's what makes, makes a big job so we're very thankful to have mentors such as Bravo on board and in terms of the program itself uh, it will be a 12 month program and we're looking to not only focus on the mentees but also on the mentors because they will be our change agents as well as the needle movers for diversity and inclusion within the industry. So we have also worked with HR consultants to create the solutions for our mentorship program. They will be professionally administered with the YSGT. Wonderful, thank you so much. Well, we've gone from naught to 60 in record time, I think, with Women in Aviation. The chapter's grown incredibly quickly. I think we're over 100 members now, 15 or so corporate sponsors, I believe. So. Um, here's to the next year's activities and thank you so much for your support. It will be double next year. Absolutely, there's the challenge. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much, enjoy the All evening. Right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank